Hey guys, I'm Alina and today we are going to do class 9 NCERT Maths exercise 1.2. So let's get started. So the first question of exercise 1.2 is state whether the statements are true or false and justify your answer. The first question says every irrational number is a real number. Now for justifying the statement First, we need to know what is an irrational number, what is a real number. So, an irrational number is in the very basic statement, you can say a number which is in the form of root in its simplest form. So, irrational number in the simplest form is in the form of root. And what is a real number? Real numbers are collection of rational and irrational numbers. So real number are collection of rational and irrational number. Irrational numbers are the numbers which are in the form of proof in its simplest form. The question says every irrational number is a real number. This statement would be true. This is because real number have all the irrational numbers. So all irrational numbers are real numbers. Next question. Every point on a number line is in the form of root m where m is a natural number. Now on a number line, we have positive numbers, positive integers and negative integers. But always root cannot be in the form of negative. We cannot write minus root m. So this statement would be false. It will be false because no negative number can be the square root of a natural number. Next part, C part, every real number is a irrational number. Now, the definition of real number is just a combination of rational and irrational. But the question says that every real number is a rational number. But that would be false because real number also have rational numbers. So every real number cannot be an irrational number but every irrational number can be a real number. Now let's move on to the second question. The second question says are square roots of all positive integers irrational? If not then give an example. Now not all square roots of positive integers are irrational. They are rational also. Like we can take many examples. That like if you say root 4, it is not irrational because it equals to 2. They are square root of a positive integer. And 2 is a rational number. You can take a root 9, which is equal to 3, root 16, which is equal to 4. So like this, you can take many examples. Now moving on to the last question of this exercise, which is to show root 5 on a number line. Now for showing root 5 on a number line, first just forget for a second that it is root 5. Assume it as 5. We have to write 5 as a sum of two squares. So 5 can be written as 2 square plus 1 square which is 4 plus 1 equals to 5. So now we have two numbers 2 and 1. Now we can draw a line. Now, on this line, take a unit. Like, first you mark 0. Then, we take 1 centimeter. 1 more centimeter. This is a not actually a centimeter. But just to show, we can take a unit and write the unit over here. If you have taken 1 centimeter as a unit, make that unit over here and write one unit. You can take one unit as two centimeter also. So this is our one unit. 
So, 2 and 1. We will take 2 as our base. So, we have 2 units over here. Now, from that 2, make a 90 degree angle using a compass. So, it would be... Like this, something like this. And draw a straight line. No, no it's not that straight, but you need to draw, draw a straight line. Now, from here, uh, using your compass, mark one unit, this much. So my one unit is this much. Now I'll keep the compass like this. And using the compass, I will make an arc. So this is one unit. So this hole was two. This hole was one. Now, just connect these two lines. Make a straight line. And this would be root 5. And the question was to show root 5 on the number line. But this is not on the number line. This is just in the air. So for that, you need to take, again, take your compass. Expand it up to this measure. Take this and uh, that measure, put it on zero and then make an arc. So like take this much, put it on zero and then make an arc. And that is how you can make root 5 on the number line. And that was all for today's video. Hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to hit the like button, share this video and subscribe to my channel. And click the notification bell so that you get notified every time I am on YouTube. Also, thank you to everyone for subscribing to my channel. We have reached 1000 subscribers. Thank you for subscribing. Bye-bye.